Former Murray County deputy pleads guilty this afternoon in federal court. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us live from Rome, Georgia with the story now. John? Calvin and Kim, former Murray County Deputy Josh Greason pleads guilty to lying to the GBI during an investigation about a traffic stop he made last summer. But there's much more. Greason has also agreed to tell the federal government everything he knows, including any role played by former Magistrate Judge Bryant Cochran. What Josh Greason knows about former Murray County Magistrate Judge Bryant Cochran is extremely valuable to the federal government. Greason, a former Murray County deputy, lied to the GBI about an illegal stop he made of Angela Garmley's car last August. The GBI concluded drugs had been planted on it. Garmley's charges were dropped. Meanwhile, she had made allegations that Cochran had made sexual advances on her. And this afternoon, the case takes a telling turn. We got a bit of a surprise today to learn that Judge Cochran had contacted this officer directly just five days before the uh, uh, illegal arrest. The government says former Judge Cochran contacted other officers as well. Greason told his attorney he doesn't remember what the conversation was about. Whatever happened, whatever he knows, whatever he remembers will be told to the U.S. attorney at their request. Mr. Greason has every incentive now to give every bit of information he knows to the government. It only helps him at this point. In his guilty plea, Greason agreed to fully help the feds. His crime? Not admitting that his former captain, Michael Henderson, put him on lookout to stop Garmley's car. Her attorney and Greason's feel a prosecution against the former judge is coming. They seem to be doing it very uh, in measured steps that uh, is building a case uh, even stronger against former Judge Bryant Cochran, who was the mastermind of all this. Next story from John Madewell.